Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. We're gonna go over different options for communications or comms for your bug out bag. Um, first of all, I, I would like to promote these uh, solar and crank radios. Uh, you can get these on um, Amazon for cheapy cheap. Uh, you know, different forms of these and, and types between uh, 10 and $25. Uh, they can help uh, charge your cell phone and they provide a light source, uh, AM and FM and weather band. Uh, they just have a lot of neat um, features and you know in this particular uh, package it's very compact and uh, as you can see here there's just different um, different things you can use it for than just a radio uh, talking about radios though for your pack a shortwave radio would be good as well even if you could find an AM FM and weather band with a shortwave that would be awesome in a crank or solar power you know uh, package um, but if you can't though, uh, sometimes you may just want to get something super basic like a, uh, a weather alert radio. This is just a little handheld one that goes over um, all that has all seven of the weather bands and has an alert feature and you can program it specifically to your area and not be concerned about getting false alarms and alerts. So you have that option. Also you have the um, Kind of like a two-way walkie-talkie styles, the FRS and the GMRS, uh, like the Motorola's and Unidens, and there's many other brands, but uh, this one's pretty cool. Sometimes they advertise for 30 plus miles. In real life, uh, I would um, I would probably not uh, you know expect it to go more than a quarter mile to a mile at most, depending on your terrain. So those can be had, and they're really good, especially with their charging dockets. You can just drop them in and let them charge, and they're ready to go. If you're a little more advanced and you're into an amateur radio or ham radio operating, um, you know, these 2-meter 440 bands, um, uh, these little radios, they come in different sizes and brands. This is a, a Yezu. Uh, this is a discontinued model, the VX1, but it just gives you an idea. You can also, you know, search uh, different channels on here, like police bands, fire department, uh, Red Cross, things like that. Um, this one also has an AM band. And, um, you know, you might want to think about something like that if you do have the money uh, and the interest to, uh, to get into amateur radio or even play scanners. Uh, whistles uh, help, or help uh, you to communicate um, as well as different light codes and signaling with a light or flashlight or spotlight. Uh, having markers to signal uh, where you're at. Um, and, of course... Um, you know, you have uh, your cell phone um, that uh, if you can't get, uh, you know, a signal out, uh, then you may be forced to use these options that we just looked at. It's always best, though, to go to um, the highest location or elevation point possible. And if you can't uh, call out, try to text. Sometimes texting uses a different system on the towers, and they may be a little bit more reliable um, the further the distance you are from the tower. Notepads and pencils are also good to write down uh, any ideas or messages to rescuers, especially if you have to leave your area. Uh, it is advised if you're lost to stay put. You know, you increase your chances of being found and then moving around. And then also, if you have any kind of injuries that keep you from talking, it may be good to have a notepad and pencil to write down to a traveling partner or what what is uh, things that you need to say that you're not able to verbalize. So with that, those are just some thoughts for different uh, communication options that are compact and lightweight, which is the key here for your bug out bag. Thanks for watching.